There are some things to consider when 3D printing to have a successful print. 3D printers work by printing layers of plastic, one on top of the other. However, overhangs that extend beyond the layer below, with nothing to support them, can cause issues. Without support, overhangs can sag, deform, or even collapse completely. The general rule of thumb is that overhangs up to 45 degrees from the vertical axis can usually be printed without support structures. Anything beyond that may require supports or orienting the model more optimally. If your model needs support, go to Support, check on the box for Enable Support. You can also select the two types of support in the drop-down for Type, Normal and Tree. I find Normal support works best for larger flat overhangs, and Tree works better for more organic shapes and smaller overhangs. If you look at this model from Sam Helmuth called Cute Figure of Bear Girl Dancing with an Umbrella, we see many overhangs of the legs and skirt, nose of the bear, as well as the umbrella. The model would be challenging to print with many supports. Fortunately, this model was designed for 3D printing and divided up into smaller parts so it can be oriented to print more optimally. There are times when the model we want to print is larger than the build area of our printer. The best approach is to split the model into smaller parts to print and assemble after. You can easily split a model with the cut tool. Doing this also offers the ability to orient the pieces differently. Supports are sometimes necessary no matter how you orient your model, but splitting your model can help cut down on support material and print times. In our next video, we will dive deeper into model orientation and model placement on the build plate.